What's up guys, it is Zombie and I'm going to be showing you how to get this Grateful Mimic contract in Tower Heroes. So for this Halloween update, there's this new contract board and you have to get all these contracts by doing a certain thing to get the characters to spawn and then you have to kill them. So for the Grateful Mimic, this is actually the last one I need and it's just so RNG based that I don't have it yet. But I think I've nailed down the strategy f for you to get it. So if you have a little bit more luck than me, you might get this a little easier than I did. So the first thing you want to do is you want to actually know how to get the Grateful Mimic. So for the Grateful Mimic, you just let the Mimic go by your defense. Which basically means you have to sell all your units and then let the mimic go along. And this is really hard because all the other enemies will go ahead and just go through your defense while you wait for the mimic to go through. But I think I have the perfect map and setup for this. So the first thing you want to do is actually be able to win build to survive medium because if you can't then this might be kind of hard i recommend going for burke's hard strategy it pretty much works with any game mode for build to survive and then what you're going to do is go on in set the mode to medium and this is kind of an easy map if you have already beaten it but I'm going to be using the Sparks and Psy with two supports loadout. And what you need to do is go for the facility raid fencing, which is basically just make it a huge loop around your base. But what you want to do is surround your base with eight Sparks like this. You don't need this part of the tutorial if you are just going to watch Burke's video. The only thing you will need to watch if you watched Burke's video is the next part. So instead of doing fencing about as late as he did, I would go ahead and get your level 2 sparks and then get to level 3 farms and then start fencing. And you want to do a full fence not just like halfway. This is for the mimic so that you can stall while you kill the other guys trying to get to your base as well so that you can let the mimic through while killing the other guys that are trying to get through by the way if a mimic does come through your base then you want to uh use this hero data instead of selling manually because the one time that i was about to get grateful mimic i kind of forgot to sell a level two eyes and it kind of killed the mimic these mimics are so fragile dude why this quest is so hard and because of the other enemies of course so once you have level three farms and level two eyes you can go ahead and do the full fencing loadout which i will show right here all right so i've got level three farms and level two eyes around wave 11 so now i'm going to start my building process it's okay if any of your builds get destroyed by the zombies, just make sure to patch that up by the end of the wave because otherwise they might set their path to that to the next round and you don't want that. So as you can see, this guy's breaking through it. I'm just gonna sell it so that I can get some money instead of him just breaking it. But yeah, you'll see a lot of zombies that wanna break these because I just placed them this round. And that's fine. Just make sure to sell them before they actually break them. Except for these middle ones because those are basically your only defense. But make sure to sell them before they break them so that you can get some money back. And they don't just steal your money like that. Oh. Oh no. What happened here? I just lost like half of my health. What happened? Uh, maybe I need some scientists here. Okay. Back to this... Yeah, that's enough for now next wave i'll do a bit more i might want to upgrade these scientists but anyway back on to the grateful mimic tutorial basically what you want to do if a mimic comes through is go ahead and sell all your units and then if 
you don't have it on, make sure to turn on hover path in the interface because that'll help you a lot here. And you want to figure out what path the remaining zombies have once the mimic is there. Ah, these guys are breaking through. Okay. Anyway, once you have hover path on, you want to look at these zombies and see what their path is. And you basically just want to break up that path so that you have time to kill them without actually targeting the mimic. So I'm going to finish my defenses up here. There, now we're filtering them through there, hopefully. Unless some try to break in. Oh, oh, a mimic appeared. Okay, so first things first, you want to kind of wait until the mimic gets close to your defense. I would sell all of these because you're not gonna need them, pretty much. Okay, this mimic, I hope this mimic goes pretty slow because there's a lot of zombies still left. My heart's kind of pounding here because this is the first mimic I've had in a while in this game mode. Come on, come on, die, 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 die. Don't, just come here, come here. Come here, come here, come here. Come on, please just go, 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 go. Go before the mimic comes, please, please. Just go, just go, just go. I think we're safe. Yeah, cause he's gonna go around and these guys can kill him. Yes, okay, now we sell all of these. And now what we need to do is wait for him to hit us. Dude, like this is the first mimic I've had in a while and it's just, it's convenient that the round I record on is the one I get a mimic. <laughs> and the one that I um, don't accidentally kill it, you know. All right, it's almost there. It's almost there. My heart is pounding. By the way, this grateful mimic that spawns does have a bit of health. So you do want to have some money saved up. Grateful mimic has been located. Okay. I got a level five Psy and a level three Psy. Is that good enough? Oh, he's got seven, seven, seven health. I think that's good. I can brick up his path as well. Oh, wait, I don't want to do it there. I want to do it in range of Psy. So let's brick up his path there. So that'll take him a while longer to get to us, which means that this Psy can kind of deal with them. Oh, my heart is pounding. Jeez, he shreds through those. I didn't know he did that. Yes, yes, Angel Voca, Grateful Mimic Contract, let's go! That means I did the whole thing. Anyways, as you can see, I placed a max scientist down. If a mimic spawns and you still have enemies left when it gets to your base, you wanna use sparks and place it carefully so that it doesn't reach the mimic and maybe get it to a level two. And like I said, brick up the zombies path. Dude, I can't believe I just got that on camera. Like, you don't realize how rare that is. Like, I was getting no mimics for like a solid hour while grinding here. And then the one time I record and decide to do this video for you guys, I just get it. Like, that's, that's amazing. But let's go, now I can claim my reward. Let's go, I got all contracts complete. I still can't, I still can't believe that, like, Jeez. 16 out of 16. Grateful Mimic. You also get this Angel Voca skin, which is pretty cool. Contract Master. Family Business and Alistair. Complete all contracts. 259 candy and 350 coins. That's so good. And I get this lore skin. Anyways, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Also, if you want me to do a video on all contracts, then I'd be happy to do so. Just make sure to like, and I will. Peace.